Right, so here I'm using VS Code, so you can use tag editor, any tag editor you want. So this is just the empty project that I just built, and it's simple, I just display hello world. So first, and this is gonna be a series video that we're going to build the pro this project. So in the first video, I'm going to build the UI front UI right here and do a little off a uh, fake auth authentication. And then what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to build the React, uh, not React, Express as the backend and connect to it. So um, I'm using Material UI, Material UI. So feel free to use any framework you want. So if you want to follow, go to Material UI, grab a template here. So I'm going to use free template right here. And also what we're going to do is to use React Router DOM as well. So make sure you install this thing. And this one plus, if you don't know how to install, just go to here and just click install this one and also this one right here. So if you already done it, so it's good to go. So first one, what we're going to do is we're going to do sign up. If you click to the thoughts, it show you the thoughts. So it's free, so you just copy and paste to your project. So without further ado, so let's get let's copy. Right, so this one, and so we need one more. So for the sign in, I'm going to use this one. It's gonna be faster than this one because this one has a lot of image. All right, so great. So here in VS Code, so then I'm going to create a component that I call it um, sign up. Great, so now I'm just import this one in, sign up. So it's good to go. So later on we will customize this one, but like not customize, we will use this one to um, to uh, make the submission back to the back end. Just right now, just copy and paste this one in. And the next one is one more is sign in. Okay, so for the sign in, it's doing the same. We're doing copy and paste the same things. And then we're going back with paste and we gotta go. So now let's actually see it. So import um, sign in from the component slash sign in. And then is to sign in. Great. So now hmm, that's compiling. So hang on. If we go back to our app right now, we should see the sign in right here, which is great. So now what we want to do is to uh, make the authentication, not authentication make the router that can uh, that connect all of this the sign in and this the sign in and the sign up and before do that I need to create okay so let's do it so I'm going to create a folder called route router okay just route and inside a route we I'm creating uh, the route file. So this one we're going to use route. So React Router. So you can here's the documentation if you don't know how it works. So just go here. And so first we can need to import of this one inside of a project. So let's uh huh. Okay. So now like we do the functions, I call it route, and then we, what we're gonna return, return the routes to our login. So first, I'm going to have the protect route, it's just the normal route first, not protecting anything. So what we're gonna do with the switch, I do the router outside. We don't need this one actually. So I'm gonna delete. Oops, I'm gonna delete this one. 
for now. And the link here, also we don't need this one, we just don't need, we need the switch and this one. So inside the switch, we'll have the route. Oops. The route that pass is to the, let's say sign in. Uh, sign in. And the component is going to be equal to sign in component. And I will bring it. So we do copy and paste. So this one is going to be sign up. And this one is sign up. So now that imported. So I'm going to cut it from here. So it's going to be error for now, but that's okay. Error enough. So now sign up. And in here, we do sign up. Great. So now we have to import this one into the app.js so now let's export it first so export default route so now we already exported so we go back into app.js and what I'm gonna do here is, is I'm gonna do import um, router so we need the router to wrap around here so in here is, I'm going to copy this one, this router from react. Great. So now what we're going to do is to router and then we need to import the route. Import route from route slash route. So router, and then in here we we put the routes inside here. Great. Wait, what? Cannot component? Oh, I see. So the sign in right here, inside the route here should be we go outside this one, and then we go inside this one. Yes, so we go outside and then we go inside a component because this has to go to outside this one and then has to go inside this one. So now our route is finished and then we put it inside the app. So I'm going to close this one. So if we go back into the app right now, because this is nothing, so if I go to sign up, it's nothing as well. Okay. This is sign in. And then if I go to sign up. Great. So now we are at the sign up. But on. So this one. So now what we're gonna do if, if I go click on this link, it's redirect me to the science. So then what we, I'm going to do is to go into the component, go to sign up. And at the top of this one, we have the link right here, link ref2. So, oh no. I don't think this one, this one is copyright. So, it, it's the bottom here, so here, link ref2, link um, to slash sign in. I think this not work. But we give it a try. So okay, great. So now it, it's redirected to sign in. So now if I click on this one, it should go back to the sign up. So if I go to sign in, so if I throw up sign up here. So right here slash sign up. Great. So now if I click here, it's redirect me to sign in, sign up. So that is great. So I think this one should be okay. So I don't. So what I would do register. So I don't need the uh, first name and last name. Yeah, that's okay. We can keep it right there. 
but we don't actually need this one so I'm, I'm going to make it simple I don't need the text wheel of that too um, for the username and the, and the last name so first name I'm going to delete here and also the last name as well I just keep an email just make it really simple so now that should do it so this is sign up and then it's go to sign in so okay so that's pretty much it so we almost finished so now let's create a dashboard Uh -huh. So dash bot yes. so I am or C okay great so now we create just uh to show the dashboard function dashboard um oh no why from <laughs> and return this one so um, Okay, and then we put an H1 dashboard. So inside the dashboard, we have the button. Just this is a simple button header, locked out. All right, great. So now we need to export this one. Okay. So then we have to put the dashboard inside our route as well. So now if I go to the route and then the pass going to be equal to dashboard component equal to dashboard which I'm not import yet so dashboard from outside and then we go inside the component slash dashboard great okay this one great so now if I go to the dashboard it go dashboard I have the button to lock down Great, so now what we're gonna do next is to do a fake authentication in the front end and then we will go into do the real authentication connect to the back end and the next video. Just for now I'm doing just the fake authentication. So and to do that I need to create the I use API contact, I'm not use retuck or anything. So I'm create a photo is called utils, and inside util here I'm going to create so auth API. .js. So this is uh, it's going to be uh, a simple. So we just um, export default react create context. No. Yeah, just that's it. And in this one, we're going to create a context, and then we're going to put this one inside our app right here. So now I need to import the auth API. Auth API from. So no. So we go to util, and then we go to auth API. Great. So now we're going to wrap the auth API with a, around our router. Auth API provider around our apps right here, like so. And then we go. What we're going to do next is we pass the value into here. So then we're going to use it at the sign in, sign up, and our dashboard. So now I'm going to create the state. So auth and then set off going to going to quarter use date no uh, right here 
So the first um, initialize it to be false. So we need to import our use state here. Oops. No. Great. So now we need to pass this one into the uh, to the auth API. So we got a value. It's going to be equal. I'm going to pass as an object to it. So auth and then set off. We're gonna pass both of this one into our project. So I think that should be it. So then inside of our route, so this is the normal route. So we have to protect our route, right? So we have our route that would has the route for registration and route for the dashboard. So here I'm going to create the simple component of, uh, inside here. So I'm call it here route registration. So this is going to for the locket, uh, sign in and sign up. So that's going to be return the route and then we going to have some prop passing along here we're going to pass the component and yes and then the rest everything just from this one so now we're going to do next is to put the rest right here and then we're going to render everything so um, render So this one, if we go into render the component, if they has a prop, so we put the props right here. So let's say props for the component. But actually, you don't have to put this one as well, if unless you pass the prop along. So the props. All right, great. This is it. So. Now we, so we're gonna use this one for the registration and we have to protect one more. So I'm gonna create one more. It's doing exactly the same as this one, but we call it route uh, protected. So then this one we're going to use for dashboard. So I'm gonna copy this and replace this with this one and this one replace with this one and this one and I think that should that still should still the same if we go to the dashboard it's still the same it doesn't change anything there it still work so right now we need to do authentication unless we authenticate and we go, can go to protect it if we not authenticate we not authenticate we can only go into this one so to do that I need to import the uh, auth API from so we go to util and then we auth API right here great so now inside here I'm going to comment uh, the auth API equal to React dot use. Let me go scroll it up. Use contact. Now we do auth API. So now, what we're gonna do? We're going to check this. Is this the auth the auth API? It's auth or not? If like, is it authentication or not? If it's not, so like dot auth. So what we're gonna do here? We do not auth. If you not authenticate you run this component right here L if you um, authenticate so then we're going to redirect you so redirect to the dashboard yep I hope I spell it right so here so I think I okay I already import right here so to make things clear, so this one we need to check if it's not authenticate. If it's not authenticate, so we 
render the component that we pass in here so it's like the sign in and sign up but if we authenticate so then we redirect to the dashboard is that clear? alright so same thing is going inside here so here I'm gonna copy this one so and then what we're gonna do is doing the same is os api.os is it auth? Like, is it authentication or not? If it's authentication, we run the dashboard. But if it's not authenticate, I'm going to redirect you to the logged in. To uh, login. To slash. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Sign in. I should call it like login. It's easy to pronounce, right? So. Alright, so now let's go in this one. If I try to go to the dashboard, which I cannot, unless I'm authenticate. So unless I'm, unless I'm authenticate. So how do I authenticate? So either when I sign up already or when I sign in correctly. So alright, so this is almost it. So so right now we protect our our dashboard already. So. Now if I go to dashboard, you can see it. I cannot go there. So then next we're going to steal with the fake authentication. What we're gonna do is to uh, do steal the fake authentication. So it means like when I click on this one, the button will submit right here. So let's say on click going to be equal to handle sign in so then I scroll on top and I'll create a function call here call handle sign in is going to be equal to this one so don't overwhelm about all of this code so that you don't need to understand it. this one just copy and paste use the existing one that so it, it's look good so that's why I'm using it here but so alright, so <laughs> I hope there's not a problem with it. Like it's messy right here. So for now, it's just when it clicked, I'm just doing authentication to be true. So I need to be import um, the auth API as well from util slash auth API. So I need to import this one, and I need to count auth. API equal to uh, react dot use contact as API. Great. So now, whenever it's 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 it click on lock in here. So when I click on lock in, so we're gonna change the as that as to true. To not the true, yeah. So, and then what we're gonna do is to push it to the dashboard. So, right, oh. I think I missed. Oh no, why well, I click on Spotify? Ah, I see. <laughs> Uh, no, I do it outside the function right here. I'm so sorry. So this should be no problem. If I click on here, it dash it true. So uh, dashboard. But if I go back, I cannot go back. So great. So if the state here is do not remember. So we will implement it later. So I think that pretty much it. So this is with the fake authentication and all right. But before we doing that, I need to handle all the lockout as well but inside the dashboard. And inside the dashboard right here. So I do like on click. Going to be equal to handle lockout. So inside here. So I'm gonna do pass and out equal to this one and 
I need to import the authentication as well. The, the auth API. Auth API from slash util slash auth API. Great. Can auth API equal to react dot use contact auth API and then what I'm going to do is set auth.api that set auth going to be equal to 4. Great. So now I sign in. Oops. Wait. Yeah. Now I sign out. It, it's that like that. So, alright. So I think this is pretty much it for the front end. And in the next video, we, we're going to build this one with the backend. So maybe in the next video, we just build the backend server that connect with MongoDB, create user, and encryptions, and with the session, something like that. So, and then I hope you guys uh, continue to watch this, this video in the next, next video. So don't forget to subscribe. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.